Now to our other top story, the Princess of Wales, ending weeks of speculation about her health. Princess Catherine revealing she's undergoing cancer treatment, and ABC's Lama Hassan is outside Buckingham Palace with the latest. Lama, good morning. Yeah, good morning to you. Well, as you can imagine, Princess Catherine's shocking announcement is on the front page of every newspaper here in the UK. You know, this was Princess Catherine like we have never seen her before. Normally, she's quite private, but she sounded emotional, making that deeply powerful and personal statement and speaking directly to the public. It has been an incredibly tough couple of months for our entire family. A stoic Catherine, Princess of Wales, in her own words, sharing a very personal message about her health. In January, I underwent major abdominal surgery in London, and at the time, it was thought that my condition was non-cancerous. The surgery was successful. However, tests after the operation found cancer had been present. My medical team therefore advised that I should undergo a course of preventative chemotherapy, and I'm now in the early stages of that treatment. The two-minute video filmed on Wednesday at their home. This, of course, came as a huge shock. And William and I have been doing everything we can to process and manage this privately for the sake of our young family. The cancer diagnosis putting an end to weeks of speculation about her well-being. As you can imagine, this has taken time. It has taken me time to recover from major surgery in order to start my treatment. But most importantly, it has taken us time to explain everything to George, Charlotte and Louis in a way that's appropriate for them and to reassure them that I'm going to be OK. As I've said to them, I am well and getting stronger every day. Emphasizing the focus for her and Prince William is on their three children. We hope that you'll understand that as a family, we now need some time, space and privacy while I complete my treatment. Reaction to Princess Catherine's cancer diagnosis was immediate. Buckingham Palace saying the King is so proud of Catherine for her courage in speaking as she did. Adding, His Majesty has remained in the closest of contact with his beloved daughter-in-law. President Biden releasing a statement saying, Jill and I join millions around the world in praying for your full recovery, Princess Kate. The video coming after weeks of online conspiracies that had been amplified after Kensington Palace released this photo on Mother's Day in the UK, which was found to have been doctored. The princess admitting she edited it herself. That video managed to accomplish a lot of things. Everyone got to see her speak to them, connect with them. And it also helps people really understand what she's going through. Earlier this week, TMZ and The Sun obtaining video of the royal couple looking relaxed, shopping at a local market. Catherine ending her statement by reaching out to others facing a similar diagnosis. For everyone facing this disease, in whatever form, please do not lose faith or hope. You are not alone. Now, Harry and Meghan also sending their support, saying we wish health and healing for Kate and the family and hope they are able to do so privately and in peace. Now, the priority for Princess Catherine right now is to take a step back during the Easter holidays, which are now underway, and just spend time with the family. Janae. All right, Lama, thank you for that update. And the news from Princess Catherine comes at a difficult time for the royal family. Buckingham Palace announcing only six weeks ago that King Charles had been diagnosed with cancer and was beginning treatment. The 75-year-old monarch cutting back on his public duties. Prince William now trying to fill the void left by his ailing father and continuing with his royal duties. But William, also the father of three young children, 10-year-old George, 8-year-old Charlotte, and 5-year-old Louis, leaving him balancing his job with supporting his family during what we can imagine is an extremely difficult time. So let's bring in ABC News royal contributor Victoria Murphy to talk more about this. Victoria, thank you for being with us. We all watch Princess Catherine's video message. It was seen almost immediately around the world. How unprecedented is it for the royal family to make an announcement like this one? Hi, good morning. Well, let's be clear, we are in totally unprecedented territory here. Never before has a member of the royal family used a personal video message to give the public a health update. They use them a lot for their work, but never in this way. And, you know, for me, I really feel this was about Kate wanting to use her own words in her own way to let the public know about what is going on. There's been a lot of noise around this, and I don't think this was a reaction to the conspiracy theories, but I do think the royal family is very aware of the noise, and I think by giving this message in this way, it was also really a direct 
plea for space and privacy. And I think the hope is now that she will be able to have that space and that privacy as she recovers. And, and Victoria, to that point about the timing of this announcement, you say you don't think it was a response to the conspiracy theorists, but was it more about the kids and the family getting to spend time together away from the public? That is absolutely right. And to me, everything about the timing of this announcement is about what is right for their children. This announcement was made at 6 p.m. on a Friday, a very unusual time for an announcement. But actually, that was because George, Charlotte and Louis broke up from school yesterday for their Easter holidays. And in making the announcement now, they've been able to make sure that they can take their children away to a place where they can have space and privacy and shield them, which is very important to them, from the huge interest and uproar that has ensued as a result of this announcement and protecting their children has been central to all the decisions that they have made and all the decisions that they will make moving forward on this. And certainly parents around the world can empathize with that. Victoria, when do you think that we will see Princess Catherine again? So we were originally told in January that she was expected to return to public duties, not until after Easter. But obviously this announcement yesterday has really given them the opportunity to extend that time frame. I'm told we're not expecting to see the family at the Easter Sunday service. And when Kate comes back to public duties will very much be when her medical team feel that is right and when she feels that is right. There has been no commitment made to any dates, but I think we can expect that that time frame of after Easter has now been extended so she can get that much needed privacy. Victoria Murphy, thank you so much for being with us. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.